Welcome to creating a base road texture in Substance Designer brought to you by GameTutor.com In this course what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of creating a library of materials basically um, that allows you to um, reuse um, and save out um, all of your different types of kind of base textures if you will uh, stuff that you would reuse over and over again and combine them into um, other substances. In this case, what I want to do is I want to focus on creating a road because it has a lot of different component parts, right? There's the dirt, then there's the actual asphalt, um, then there's the lines, but then we have shapes, then we have the actual road shape, and we have cracks. All this stuff can be modularized and reused um, inside of uh, your other substance uh, graphs all right um, it's very very efficient uh, working that way because instead of uh, working in something like Photoshop and uh, saving out um, textures or just having a massive texture library of flattened um, textures uh, diffuse textures normal maps specular maps whatever we actually have material we're creating a library of materials uh, instead and you should probably start when you're working with substance uh, designer and painter you want to start thinking about everything as materials because um, these aren't just textures all right they're not just flat textures they're actually each one of these is actually exporting out or um, sending out the color the ambient occlusion the normal the height we have our roughness and uh, metallic uh, maps so each one of these can be reused in other graphs it doesn't have to just be localized to this particular um, graph right here this road graph this is just an example of how i took all these different uh, materials that i created these substances and combined them together to make a new texture um, and you'll see that once you uh, develop a, a large library of these substance materials um, your workflow your texturing process goes much faster so this is kind of what i wanted to do uh, with this course um, it just really explain how that works all right so without further ado let's get started thanks so much